Before we get started, I wanted to ask y'all this. How are y'all feeling about Battle Rap being dead right now? <laughs> <laughs> I hate, I I hate that whole dead. statement personally. Like, I hate it because I feel like people get so attached to what Battle Rap is and the phase that it's at. And once it, like, evolves to a different phase, they're like, oh, what's happening? It's dead. And it's like, no, it's alive. You know what I'm saying? You just, yeah. you just still stuck back there. Like, yeah. everybody else evolved. Everybody yeah. else moved on because you got to think about it. I remember mm-hmm. back when Battle Rap was on a street corner and it was off the top. Nobody mm-hmm. had written. It was like a, like a crime to have a written. Yeah. And yeah. nowadays, that's not here no more so other yeah. people are going to benefit from the new model that is evolving into and some people aren't yeah. either way I'm ready to get what what's up I got bars but yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> like holla at me it's just but time that evolves really well said. Every- that was yeah, that time said for, very it's, well it's time for evolution <laughs> like, that's how I look it's at really it really time just evolves everything so I think the biggest thing that, that where people feel like it's dead at if from just a outside like looking at it from a fan perspective would be the older times when it was people first getting on it would be like rivalries people arguing and setting up fights like that to the beat of battles but people not understanding these dudes been battling with each other for 20 years yeah. they're not finna get hit man and goddamn hollow the dime to argue and make a fake argument to sell the battle no more they've been doing this for 20 years they know each other they peers yeah. when they all first came in they really didn't know each other they from different walks of life trying right. to get their name known so it's a different energy is it was raw of course, so now y'all have to look at the newer talent because it is newer talent that is arguing and putting on the show and they selling their fights, but nobody watching them battles, nobody giving them dudes a chance. Mm-hmm. There's people that's doing that all day on YouTube. You type in some of these newer cats, they promoing the best they can, going at it, arguing all day, but people is looking for the top tiers and the god tier type dudes to continue to do that same format when it's like, nah, they, they passed that format. They, they ticket sellers already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, yeah. look again, great point. I don't want to sound like your great grandfather that you know I used to walk <laughs> 50 miles to school in the snow barefoot. You feel me every single day, but correct me if I'm wrong. Hitman Holla within the past few months posted a check stub or a screenshot of a half a million dollar payment that he received. All right, we was fucking flying ourselves out, <laughs> yeah. booking hotel rooms, <laughs> fighting. Over five hundred dollar prizes, yeah, yeah, paying yeah. to get into the event. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, yeah. like so, like to to act when there's people that are actually making a living. Battle rap is no longer the journey; it's a destination. Mm-hmm. There's little kids growing up. Be battle rappers. There's little kids growing up in Compton that want to be Gucci Gotti and RX when they grow up. You feel me? <laughs> and you feel me? Like, and it's. Because of what y'all do in that ring, you feel me, and the way obviously the way y'all conduct yourselves outside of it, but that right there shows that like if you've been around for a long time, this is one of the highest points culturally that Ooh. battle rap has ever been by a significant margin. It's so insane. I mean, this this <laughs> dude sitting next to me right now was all over the motherfucking every single major <laughs> media outlet for a battle round for, for a round and Think a, if my grandma knew about that shit yeah. that's my what I'm grandma, saying like, she's like, like, in the house all day yeah. like what like that shit crazy yeah, anytime it's not real, nobody having like a scandal they say it's dead now because that's yeah. the new era we are in in just culture of like internet and entertainment you know what I'm saying yeah. like Hip hop is dead if ain't two rappers beefing. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. hip hop dead, man. Elvis but said, like, they just had Killer Mike won the beefing. <laughs> Killer, <laughs> Killer Mike won the Grammy and yeah, they don't like it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. wasn't a controversial artist. Yeah. He don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody pissed off. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that's always gonna be that when there's no controversy. You know what I'm saying? Right, as exactly. soon as somebody start arguing. Free the wave, let surf come home, everything will be back to normal. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I hate when people say Let's that. Y'all just suck it to surf, mm. but it's like, bro, like, y'all waiting on a nigga to come home so battle rap could be good again? Like, like we got mm. so much talent out here. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Free surf, but my nigga, like, get you got it right here. Like, what y'all up? Like, what, what, what we doing? What but we that, doing? And, so but many that, people out here still battle. That goes to show you that a lot of these people, they're not battle rap fans, they're fans of individuals. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's, yeah. And then there's exactly. a lot of other people that, come into it because they weren't popular in high school and they look at this as a chance to live right. their second childhood mm-hmm. yep. so they get all and I'm not just I'm not talking about strictly battlers but yeah. the fans that get all immersed in the controversies yeah. right right want to be on stage That's what they into, you feel yeah. Me? yeah they're into it and they, and they they don't really give a fuck about there's no 
there's no nuanced opinion that they're able to provide because they have no context of where battle rap came <coughs> from, of what battle rap really and truly even is yeah. mm. to right. be speaking on it. But now, like, people are way too validated. Like, motherfuckers were tripping when uh, Caps and Chris Unbiased were speaking on this shit. These motherfuckers look like holy pillars of media in mm. comparison to fucking Dickface Jones with his little whoever got a Twitter account in his, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Dickface Jones. I'm just saying, fool, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's yeah. really like, what it boils down bro, to. Bro. Like, and that's not, and, 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 and want to make sure we be clear because it's really a strong fan base of Battle Rap fans who don't believe it's dead. They still buying events, going to the local events. Like, you got yeah. High Battle coming up in a few weeks. You got a new UW event coming up. Westworld got a tournament going on. Uh, I think Easy to Block Captain got a tournament going on. Yeah, March is they insane. There's a lot of battles going on, <laughs> and a lot of fans going to be selling out at these events. They're going to mm -hmm. be buying these pay-per-views, buying these, f pulling up to these live streams. So they there. It's really the people that kind of, like you said, buying into the drama side of it, they like, it's nothing really going on. It's nothing to really, to harbor on. It's like, we can't yeah. talk about nobody. Then nobody snitched last week. Then nobody get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's yeah. pregnant. You know what I'm saying? All that type <laughs> shit that they want to talk about in order to keep following the storyline. So it's like, oh, it's dead right now. Soon, like I say, that's why I say, as soon as there's something new to talk about, then they'll say it's alive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Once that, for, for those fans, you feel yeah, me? But yeah. for everybody else, they already know it's cracking. They tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Like, they watching it. Yeah, and, and, or do you really fuck with battle rap or are you just dick riding specific leagues? That's what I was going to say. Or, or certain people for that yeah. matter. You know what I'm saying? They only a fan of this one person right here or that, these two people right here or this league right here. And then once somebody else got some shit going on, it's like they want to shit on that. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? It, it just be some picky and choosy type stuff going on. And like you said earlier, it's not even real fans of the culture. Mm -hmm. It's just like people who like this and yeah. only this and if that's not if that's not satisfying them they want to be like oh this shit is dead and it's like bro no it's not true it's living on for a very long time true. it's going to keep living on what true. do the games say uh like rap ain't dead i was just sleeping compton you feel yeah, me like yeah, come on yeah. man like yeah, it's like this is i'm telling y'all as someone that's seen this from the the <laughs> alpha to the omega yeah. this is we're at a we're nowhere close to this being like this is but it also point. shows you and I hate to say it, but how much like importance like certain leagues, especially like URL, is important because they haven't made a big announcement. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you were so on RBE being quiet. It's yeah, like, when you that's, are that's where RBE, like, that's why this thing is. It's like no, what? Yeah, they haven't <laughs> the made fuck? some big announcement. We <laughs> waiting to see when they gonna make the big announcement. Then yeah. it's boom. Yeah, exactly. Everybody, that's all it really. They just had a dope to. event too. Exactly. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? But since it was just a app event or event that they didn't really have a, a, a like a gnome or something like yeah, that, yeah. the way that volume yeah. style event. Everybody saying it's there. Uh, ARP just did the, the, the rooftop series, mm -hmm. but since yeah. it ain't maxed out, yeah. ARP's done. He yeah. hates battle rap. I already <laughs> to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, another space somewhere. You don't, you don't <laughs> listen to boys no more. Like They got all these like you know these stories about dudes. Instead of just letting that ARP's happen. ARP's throwing man. his own indoor soccer league. Now, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just let these Shit dudes the work. Yeah. Let them, sometimes people need a break yeah. from it too, though. Like yeah. These dudes yeah, putting their money right, up. Dude. These dudes is putting their energy into it. And they got families. They got other yeah. stuff that goes into this stuff. So sometimes yeah. a two, three months might seem like forever to somebody that's waiting on their computer all day for yeah. the next oh announcement. Yeah, yeah. But literally he like pop out in April like with a big event and it's like, bro, I was just chilling for the yeah. first three months handling yeah. business. Yeah. Like, yeah. God damn. You were all used to do two events a year. Yeah. Right? You know? Exactly. Yeah. People got, go, got low key the go caffeine era yeah. spoiled that motherfuckers with the year, like, 30, 40 events yeah. type yeah. of shit to yeah. where every for week was something for free. You tune in and they still hated that though. Like you can't win with battle rap. Yeah, man, free too events. Much. Too many battles. Nobody's ready. They're free events. You need to go back to two events a year. Yeah. Get these dudes time. Yeah. Everybody yeah. rap the same. Dude. We want yeah. more diversity, but then there is more diversity and they're not trying to see that. This yeah. is not lame yeah. shit. We want you that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, this yeah. toxic culture, man. It's the it is. it's at the finest. This is the toxic one, man. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, it's you gotta it's detox toxic, from though. it, man. They gotta yeah. detox, man. Yeah. Yeah. My, the good news is I feel like this is gonna clear out a lot of the fucking lames yeah. that and, and it's gonna give all of us yeah. the people that really dictate and yeah. drive and are the fuel of this culture yeah. to redirect it properly and yeah. show people what real battle rap is yeah. you I'm know, glad like, like Smack people. saying what he said about the budget actually was big you know that was like a a, a big thing to say in the culture like of course you know it's still gonna be big bags and big monies for those people 
when the time comes for those type of matchups, but it also put things in perspective for the people that's really hungry and grinding. You know what I'm saying? That these small leagues out here that's giving people opportunities, it should be more uh, bigger names that go to these platforms and get these dudes to battles. You know what I'm saying? Work with some of these budgets for some times. You know what I mean? Just to keep this shit going. I think that's what that basically was saying. It's like, because if, cause if they saying it's a budget for the biggest league, you know what I'm saying? Then you got to understand that other people be like that, you know? So they price, they people price themselves out all the time. I think that day is over with as far as like for just the average nigga pricing they self out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the dude yeah. with three battles in and make that post like price just went up. <laughs> that shit over with. No, it didn't. You know what I'm saying? Three battles, price just went up. No, nah, that, that shit done. Like, nah. Oh, yeah. Price literally went up. Yeah, it went up from, right a, from, from a bus fare to Uber. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, there you go. Yeah, you got a promotion, like, but... Yeah, you got to fight. You got to get your name up there. Like, the Luxes, the Geechees, the, the Hitmans, the Surfs, the, the Rocks. Like, these, you got to think of how long these people been doing this. Disasters right. and all these names. Like, so so I don't I don't think no league was addressing them. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to not being able to get a return on investment, I think a lot of times it was... They overpaid and gave a lot of people who haven't proven themselves when the bags came in just to show love. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you haven't exactly. proved yourself to sell no tickets yet. So if I gave you 10 just because I could, that was a gesture. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that don't mean that's what you're worth. You know what I mean? Because I didn't make 50 off you. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but also I feel like the, the caffeine area, how we were just talking about how um, people got comfortable getting free battles. Mm-hmm. And then now it's like, okay, now you got to pay for the for the mm-hmm. event on the same app on caffeine. Mm-hmm. Oh, I ain't finna pay $25. I ain't finna pay all that money. What? Who got the bootleg? Yeah. So that right. right there is bootleg also a reason it. why Smack ain't right. got the money to pay yeah. motherfuckers because yeah. it's the bootleg fans who don't want to put the money up. So I think that people got too comfortable. And now that it's like, okay, we about to get paid. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Y'all got to make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying? Support the then financially, yeah. the fans, they not, man, they not trying to put up $25. They over here yeah, bootlegging no. shit. I, I don't think, that, I think a lot of people, I'm going to sprinkle some game on these motherfuckers real quick. I think let a lot of, let I, let I think, I think I'm going to add a crease no. to your cranium. I think a lot of people don't realize what the commodity is with battle rap and what the commodity is, yeah. what we're really selling is cultural capital, which basically, if y'all don't know what that means, is eyeballs. Like, mm. it ain't about the fucking dollars, it's about the eyeballs. Yeah. So there's a lot of outside entities, advertising agencies, mm-hmm. and people that that want to add value to their brand by associating mm-hmm. it with battle rap, they're mm-hmm. going to put that money up without it because that's part of their marketing budget. Right. Which, by the way, most most large corporations allocate in the first quarter of the year, which is January to March, what they're going to spend on the rest of the year. You mm-hmm. feel me? So all these companies are going to figure out, shit, what's hot right now? What can we market? How do we want to allocate our marketing mm-hmm. budget? Mm-hmm. Oh, through battle rap. I know this guy named Geechee Gotti. I've seen he's popping. He's been making motion with his league called The Riot. Shit. Like Geechee's one phone call away from having a bag, a crazy bag to throw an event. I know he is because I am one phone call away. And I guarantee you, if Geechee and I are one phone call away, you think that people ain't thinking to call ARP or Smack or motherfucking mm-hmm. Organic yeah. or anything? Come on, fool. Like, yeah. it's the money is there. It's just how it's being appropriated mm-hmm. and what the purpose is. Mm-hmm. I just right. gave y'all way too much. Man. But you feel hey, me? Man. Like, cash out for a I just gave y'all <laughs> way too <laughs> much. <laughs> but. Hell yeah. Nah, but that is true though. It's like people out there that's looking to like invest in like certain artists. Like when I had a battle recently last year, you feel me? People came through like, yo, like I really want to see you on this card. Like I'll, I'll pay you money myself. So people was actually coming through sponsors. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who was just giving me money just to pay for shit. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? That, that just made everything way better. You feel yeah, me? So. It just helped me to get what I needed to get, to do what I needed to do. You feel me? Y'all got to get a battle out of it. Because, you know, we got to also be able to hustle on our own out here as battle rappers. We can't just always rely on the lead to do everything because there's always going to be sponsors who mm-hmm. are also available and ready to throw you 500, 1,000, 2,000, whatever it is. Like, come on, man. We got we to gotta be hustling. Here's a key word for y'all. Anybody that want to throw a battle event trying to get a sponsor. Conversion dollars, you know, mm. conversion dollars. All conversion dollars are when you click on, when you see those ads that pop up in a YouTube video. The people that click on the ad, that's not conversion dollars. It's the people that fucking spend money mm-hmm. on the products that are being advertised. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right, I giving y'all enough for one day. But Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> battle rap <laughs> ain't dead. <laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> I'll just sleep in West Los. You feel me? Come on, man. <laughs> but let y'all know. Word up. Yeah.